Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random as usual. We're gonna get Kane, and we are going to hopefully win. Although, you know, given my results so far, it's been a mixed bag. I wouldn't necessarily say it's been all bad, but it has been a mixed bag so far. So the first curse room basically prompted us to trade uh, half of a spirit heart for three mulligan type flies. Not a horrible deal, I guess, considering we were able to get that health back anyway. Try to make it more of a habit to go to more curse rooms lately, you know? It would be nice to see everything that they have to offer, even if it is just nine lives over and over and over, and troll bombs and all that good stuff. Speaking of troll bombs, hey thanks troll bomb for giving me that extra spirit heart there. We get Broken Mirror. I don't know how I feel about this item. Uh, largely negative, but I feel like it's gonna make things interesting. Now, of course, when you get Broken Mirror, apparently, Anecdotally, there's like a 900% chance or increased chance of getting Ipecac. Could make for an exciting run here. I always find that, that my reflection is kind of like a range down. Like whatever your range was before, subtract like 40% from that. Uh, and that's what you've got now. It's an item that is not necessarily an upgrade. It might be a downgrade, but I think like at best it's a side grade. Uh, unless it also offers some kind of potential, like, damage upgrade or something that I didn't know about before. Or maybe like a tears upgrade or something. I don't know. I feel like it should be a tears upgrade, because if your mirror was broken in real life, you'd be like, man, that sucks, I gotta buy a new mirror. That was made with, like, artisan Viennese glass or something. Who knows, that could be several hundred dollars. Or it could be, like, a dollar if you just want to use your car window or something, or a, a fork. Just do what I do, use a spoon, you dummy! Why is my face so concave? I totally left that spirit heart on the last floor. Oh well. At least I did not waste a bomb in order to get it. That's pretty shitty, pretty bad foresight on my part, but of course what I was thinking was, you know, I'll take that spirit heart after we fight the boss, but then I took my, it's embarrassing, but I took my hands off of the keyboard to say why is my face so concave, and then I just went down to the next floor. It totally interrupted my thought patterns. So I did check out the uh, spike room there. There was nothing in it for the one heart that we've spent so far, but I'm hoping that we'll get something better on this floor. So obviously we were fighting Famine. Uh, we got first cube of meat, which is, you know, it has the potential to be something great. Also has the potential to be absolutely garbage, but we'll see. Ace of Spades is a nice card to get, or a nice trinket to get right off the bat, because it means the prevalence of actual playing cards should be much increased now. I believe that is indeed what the, the Ace of Spades does. So that is going to be awesome for us, because you never know, we can get Devil cards or Joker cards, which are functionally the same thing, I guess. We do have a key, so let's check out the item room here. And as well, just double keys, double bombs, double money, stuff like that, all useful. So we get Gu uh, Max's head, I was going to say Guppy's head. Uh, this is a damage upgrade, so our tiers are bigger. It feels like they're moving faster too, but that might just be, I don't know, some kind of... It's the Coriolis effect, it's not the Coriolis effect, believe me, I know. Um, but yeah, the extra damage is nice. Probably going to take some hits here. Unless I get very lucky, wow. I, I like Max's head, it feels like a, a solid, it's like your, your your dad upgrade, right? Like, it's not gonna change the game for you, it's not, it's not flashy, it's not LeBron James, man, it's like John Stockton, it's just taken, it's got 98% from the free throw line, it's never done a Superman style Vince Carter dunk. It just, uh, you know, it gets the job done, it's got strong fundamentals. Max's head is the layup of the Binding of Isaac. That's how I feel about it. Um, doesn't show up all that often though, which is a shame because I like it a lot. There's our HP upgrade. We are just heading down to the next floor. Because there is not a whole heck of a lot waiting for us here. So, how are things going so far? Eh, hey, not, not horrible. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, obviously we didn't deserve a deal with the devil because I took so much damage fighting the Widow. But we will just proceed here and see if we can't pick up some awesome stuff. You never know. It's still very, very early in the game here. Double leapers on the first floor in the caves. It's pretty rough. I had to check and see if we were on the catacombs quickly. But nope, just the caves. There's our key, which means we can securely go to the item room this time. This has been a quick run so far. I just noticed we're like four and a half minutes in and we're already on the caves part one. And speeding through pretty quickly. Not sure what, what is causing that really. Set four, I don't know. Max's head, although we just got that very recently. Who knows? But anyway, we're gonna look for some more damage upgrades. Mom's knife, brimstone, of course, are, are valuable items. We could probably go to the uh mm, Book of Sin. Don't like it, but we'll take it. It's gonna give us two of spades, doubles. Someone on Reddit was like, spades are like 
curved like bombs. That doubled our keys. All right. I was obviously misremembering what they were saying. We're gonna use a hermit card. Blue candle. Well, that makes up for that book of sin already. So we have blue candle. It's an item I've been clamoring for recently. This should put our damage woes to rest uh, for at least a little while. This is a very solid item. It's an item that you can carry through to the end game, and getting it half price is a sweet deal. But I don't need to tell you that, because I bitch about not getting Blue Candle all the goddamn time. We're actually, this floor has been very good to us so far. Getting a lot of money. We're already up to, I mean, we spent seven cents already, and we're already up to eight again. Uh, now nine, and what do we get in our mob trap room? Golden chest. Let's go crazy! Get two cents, two bombs. I think that was worth it, considering, uh, you know, we were low on bombs. Maybe we could use those to find the secret room. Maybe the secret room will contain keys. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just the vessel for the, for the Binding of Isaac to, to play through, basically. That doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, so let's take these guys out. No, oh, that was very poor shooting on my part. But that being said, this is not going to be super difficult because we do have that candle, which really does, I can't stress enough. Give us incredible damage here in the early game. Still the early game, I would say. The early game goes like as far as the, the depths now, I would say. Fighting Mom Part 1 is like the end of the early game, in my opinion. So I do want to go to the curse room, but I want to uh, get some hearts dropped first, and maybe I'll spend those hearts at the Blood Bank instead, who knows. So Fighting Envy, normally I hate this, but it's not so bad because we do have the, the candle, which will allow us to, you know, as you can see right there, take out enemies very, very quickly. We're just going to keep throwing the candle in, basically, whenever we get the opportunity. Because it does, it like dissolves the, 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 I don't know, what would you call the progenitor, and the, then the, um, the child dies as well. Didn't mean to get so morbid about it, but that's the way I saw it, so that's the way I said it. Fight a little shove here, or actually regular sized Chad, it would be difficult for me to be more wrong. With, it, with still an element of rightness, than I was right there. So everything's going quite well so far. Of course, this is a fight that should be easy, because as little Chad comes for me, should just be able to fire a blue candle in and basically hit every segment of his body. It's not going exactly according to plan so far. That's a good one right there. All right, so we've got two laser bullet flies left. And a deal with the devil. So let's see what we've got here. Could be something awesome. It's Krampus. You know what? The uh, lump of coal might actually be useful in conjunction with the uh, my reflection here. Every time I say my reflection, I think of that Christina Aguilera song from uh, was that like the Pocahontas soundtrack? I don't know. I'm both dating myself and making myself someone I would not date right now. Well, that was stupid damage on my part, but hey, lump of coal, we'll take it because we don't have any other options. And that's going to add a little bit, at least, to our uh, damage that we've got going on so far. But I could really use some more HP. That is a, a, a principal concern for me right now. Uh, please shoot to open this bomb section right here, or this treasure chest section. Seriously, thank you. That's a start, sort of. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I don't want to waste a bomb you. That's going to do it. All right, now you can die. Sorry, your time, your usefulness on this planet has come to an end. That's going to take us back to full health and 15 cents, so if we do get another key, we can go to the shop. Let's throw some candles in here. I really love blue candle as an item. One of my favorite uh, Wrath of the Lamp items, for sure. The Wrath of the Lamp additions, maybe. And it looks like I'm doing a pretty solid amount of damage here. Now that we have Lump of Coal, of course, range upgrade becomes a little bit more useful than it normally is. Oh. That was not good, but we did manage to get two kills there, so we turned a, a negative into a positive there. You guys are a pain in the ass, but the tarot card of death is fine for us, depending on what boss we're going to fight, because I'm probably going to use it immediately uh, on that boss. We've got Pink Super Pride. Again, a string of words I never thought I would say in my life. Almost got hit there. Now we have nine lives. I'm not going to pick it up. It's tempting, believe me, but... um. Nine lives is probably my least favorite deal with the devil. One of my least favorite items in the game in general. Because it isn't just bad in my opinion. I know some people have used it to, to great effect, but it's not really my style. Uh, but beyond that, it, it usually it comes in a moment where you're like, man, we could get something really good here. It's always like a deal with the devil or like a, a, a curse room or something like that. And then you're like, oh, nine lives. So we're fighting pestilence. This is actually awesome. 
pop death. Um, didn't really do that much damage, but it, it got rid of it at least, which is something. Pestilence will be dead very, very soon here. One last candle should do it. No, it didn't quite reach. My range on the candle is lower than I expected. We'll get second cube of meat. We get a deal with the angel. Sacred tears, please. Sacred tears. That's the relic. That's also awesome. We're gonna have no health problems from now on. Uh, and extra damage from Meat Boy is awesome as well. This thing's going well. We still have the, the added problem. Until we get more spirit hearts, our health is super low. But uh, other than that, we have a lot of the great things going for us right now. And it's kind of an, a little bit of an unusual run, which is something that uh, I like these days. Keep the, you know, keep the variety flowing here. They say the variety is the spice of life. I don't want this to become like a... A 50-year resentful marriage, you know? Oh, I don't want to kill this guy. I didn't want to kill him. Uh, where you're like, Wow, you got brimstone and mom's knife again? Fuck you, asshole. I never wanted to marry you in the first place. That's not what I want for, the, for, for this, for us. We need more than that, baby. You and I, we're, the, we're not the 50% of marriages that end in divorce. We're the 50% of marriages that end in orgasm. Eh, that doesn't really make any sense. What do we have in our shop here? Yay! Let me think about this. I'm gonna get the battery. I know it seems silly. The reason I'm gonna get the battery... Oh, do I get the battery? I realize it doesn't function with blue candle. But... What if I get another item later that I want to take instead of blue candle? What would I want? It would be nail... Not even Book of Revelations, I think, because I already have Relic. Nail... I don't know. I don't know, um... Fuck it, let's just buy a key and get out of here. We can find better items later. So we do have an arcade, but I don't really want to waste my money in that yet. If arcades had judgment in them, I would go every single time, but since they don't, uh, I don't think it's as worth it. So we should find our item room right here. There's a dime, good lord. Very tempted to buy that battery now, because we'll, we'll have money anyway. We get a Harlequin Baby, another familiar. So we got a nice little run here. We got good damage. Uh, lump of Coal adds to that as well. My Reflection at least makes things a little bit more interesting. Meat Boy, My Reflection, or sorry, Meat Boy, <laughs> just keep saying My Reflection. Uh, Meat Boy as well as uh, Harlequin Baby and Blue Candle. We've got the, the potential to do some serious damage. Let's check very quickly for the secret room. It's not there, so it's all the way back there. And you know what? That's not worth my time, in my opinion. So there's the Angel again. But we've already gotten the item from that. And the Relic, great item. I, I can't complain about that. Sacred Tears might arguably be more fun, but uh, the Relic is probably a more sensible choice. Because it means that our health problems, at least provided we play reasonably well, uh, our health problems should go away fairly soon, because the Relic is one Spirit Heart every four rooms, which is pretty substantial. Especially in the early game, when I'm not going to be taking very much damage. Still kind of feel like I should have gotten the battery. I don't know why. I think it's just like, my body is like, you got rid of what item? The greatest item man could possibly ask for? We are going to use bombs out the ass uh, to get in here. We'll probably use a key as well, to be honest with you. Open that golden chest. Golden chest gives us a tarot card, the stars, which saves us a key and gives us speed plus range from this item room. So we traded a key and basically got a key out of it. I will definitely, man, I feel too fast now. Like, I, I feel very, very fast. Uh, I didn't realize that speed plus range had such an impact. I've never really felt it that fast before. What the hell is going on here? Um,. So yeah, I definitely will use Demon Judgment if we get more health that I can, you know, give to him in good conscience and still feel like I've got enough to provide for myself and my family, you know? I'm just gonna keep this up. We do have Neutral Flies. Why do I feel so fast now? I have no idea what is causing this. It feels a little bit more slippery than it should, given that I only got one speed plus range upgrade. I mean, I guess it's a big one. It would have to be to explain the situation I'm in right now. So again, Blue Candle making this very easy on us here. Uh, we get another Spirit Art drop from Relic, and we'll see what the boss holds for us. Yes, this is awesome. We're going to get third level Meat Boy. This is proving to be kind of an uh, exciting run. I did take damage for the first time in a little while. Not to brag or anything, but, you know, play has been reasonably good so far. Mostly because of the fact that I'm doing so much damage. Now, here's where my speed upgrade is going to come in handy. I'm seriously, like, like ice skating around this level. Sucks for War, because he got trapped in that rock, and that'll probably be the death of him. We get another deal with the Angel, third level Meat Boy. Deal with the Angel is the Miter. So again, we should be getting Spirit Heart drops all the goddamn time now. This is shaping up to be a very, very fun run. Third level Meat Boy, Miter, and the Relic. Not to mention all the damage upgrades, Lump of Coal, stuff like that that I've gotten so far. 
Uh, you know what? Spirit Heart seems like a good decision. Ladder seems like a good decision. And why not buy a key as well? Uh, yeah, and we'll just continue exploring here because basically there's no reason for us not to. There's tons of health sitting around, so I should probably play Demon Judgment. So why not come back here? We can play him five times and we'll still be able to get back to full health. So let's put a bomb here. Not accidentally kill him. And please give me a good deal with the devil item. Well, there's a pill. Scary, but it could be good. Let's see what the pill does. Tears up, alright. No complaints. Do we have anything? Come on, Demon Judgment. Alright, we'll come back for you in a second. I'm gonna go to some rooms down here in case there's a boss trap room. That's why I'm keeping my red health super low right now. Now, I don't like this room any more than you like this room. In fact, some of you might actually like this room much more than I do. Because of the fact that it is potentially torturous for me. Forces me to think on my feet, but hey, we got through that. Is it worth a bomb to open this treasure chest? I think so. Let's see what we got here. It's a pill. The pill is... Balls of steel. That's two more spirit hearts. That's an awesome get right there. No complaints, and we'll get a little extra money. Another pill. Man, luck can't strike this many times in a row. Let's see what we got. Friends till the end. Alright, at least it wasn't a bad pill. We got regular judgment here. Let's give him 8 cents, because I'm probably going to run into greed on the next floor regardless. Maybe he'll give us something awesome. Key's good. I'm happy with that. Because we're probably going to open this library right away. Come on, Judgment. I know you got something. Eh, you know, that's not bad. Five bombs, and the ability to have homing bombs. Both of those items are horrible. Uh, let us explore what is probably our last room down here, and then what, I wa what did I want to do? Ah, oh, that was terrible damage. Uh, I want to talk to Demon Judgment and see if Demon Judgment doesn't have anything better to uh, offer me. Oh, that's a cursed room. Okay, so we'll go see Demon... Oh, we'll go get our health back, then see Demon Judgment. If I maintain low health, it doesn't bother me because we do have five spirit hearts just waiting right now, basically. I have a ladder. Let me cross! Um, so that's gonna take us very nearly to full. So again, I think we go back to Demon Judgment at this point. Try to get him to give us a nice deal with the devil. Of some sort. I, I would actually, normally, Brimstone Mom's Knife, I would welcome something like the pack or the mark here. Just to, um, you know, mix things up. We've already got nice damage, so it's just a little something extra. Like, this is a tarot card. Empress. It's a good card! But, uh, I don't know if I... Demon Judgment's being kind of an asshole right here. We're gonna see how much health we have left in this, uh, room over here. By the way, I do have Little Chad, but he doesn't seem to be dropping that often. Alright, well, we'll go back, play Demon Judgment one time. Simply because I am moving so quickly that I feel like this is a, a reasonable decision for us to make at this point in our Binding of Isaac journey. So we'll see what we've got here. He didn't pay out. I don't know what... Let's give him half a Spirit Heart. Was it worth it? We got a range upgrade. Half a spirit heart for a range upgrade is... I don't know. It's not a bad thing because we do have Lump of Coal. But I was really hoping on a bigger item to get there. But that's that's fine. Everything else is very much going in our favor right now. And I would love to get... Uh, at this point, I think I would feel safe getting Whore of Babylon as well. Like, I think that item would work out totally fine for us. Item room is X-ray vision, so I don't have to uh, waste bombs to get to secret rooms. We'll just be able to get those naturally now, which is nice. Totally forgot that I had blue candle, by the way. Don't let me forget about that. Simply because everything else in our power is doing so much damage right now. Meat Boy, don't move it. He likes to move it, move it. He likes to... I'm not gonna go down that road. I wanted to go all the way. Songs from my childhood. Let's keep this up. I'm very scared, just dodging randomly, basically. There's so much shit on the screen, it's hard for me to tell what's going on. There's an easy kill. Another spirit heart from something. Lots of stuff moving around here. Again, worries me. Meat Boy, oh god, that was close. Meat Boy, you got the... There we go. Um, this could be a pain in the ass. These enemies, like, three of these enemies is a pain in the ass. Five of them is just a goddamn nightmare. More spirit hearts for us. That is probably uh, a little snippet of commentary that I'm going to be saying a lot over the course of this game, if everything goes well, anyway. So there's another pill. That's a good one. I don't remember what it is, though. Maybe Tears Up? That's Tears Up. What's this one? Balls of Steel. This is awesome. So we have a library. Uh, we will go to it. We'll get a Spirit Heart out of Book of Revelations. Basically just traded a key for a Spirit Heart. That's kind of what I wanted to happen. 
kind of what I expected to happen anyway. I guess there were better possible situations, but it's fine. Now, I'm really hoping on Horror Babylon here. I think this would be an awesome item. Uh, we do have the potential to get other deals with the devil. Or, or other deals with the angel, I guess, are more likely now. So we could still get, like, sacred tears, and that would be fantastic. So let's see what we got in here first. More money. Could use that at the shop, perhaps, on this floor. Two of spades doubles our keys. I mean, it's not... I just wanted to use it so that I could hold on to the Empress card for a little bit later. Otherwise, I would have waited until I'd used a key, but... I don't have that kind of time. I'm a busy man. We're jet-setting here. Everything's moving super quickly, including myself, thanks to that weird speed plus range upgrade, which is apparently the strongest upgrade mankind has ever seen. So again, we've got three Leapers killed right away here. Again, so much damage. It's crazy. Can we get Meat Boy to do some chewing? I guess not. Well, there's another Spirit Heart for us. Again, expecting to say that a lot. You know what, Judgment? You get my money instead of the shop. Show me what you can do here. HP upgrade. That's something. I'll take it. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to take it. Because I think with the amount of Spirit Arts that we have, it's better for us to just stay in this uh, like Polaroid invincibility state. It's a, I'm not going to say it's an advanced level tactic, because that makes it sound like I'm tooting my own horn or something. We don't know what this is. Range up. Okay. Uh, but it's it's a tactic that I think uh, has the potential to be very powerful, let's put it that way. So we're going to examine the other side of the map here. I mean, I could get that HP upgrade and still end up with like in this situation with only half a heart remaining, but it's more difficult, for sure. So I want to remember to accidentally, or not accidentally, um, hit health upgrades. Not to mention, not just health upgrades, but just health randomly sitting on the ground as well. So let's just try to maintain our focus here and remember that red hearts are our enemy for now. Although it probably won't matter too much in the long run. Alright, so that was a big waste of a key there. Let's see what we've got over here. We should come across a shop. I don't know if we'll be able to buy anything. I guess it's a little bit unlikely because we haven't run into greed yet. So we'll probably run into greed at some point. I don't know if the zombie knew what it was getting itself into. Another key for us and another shop. But of course the more rooms we go to, the more... Um, Chances we have for Miter and the Relic to work. I kind of expected one to work right there. We'll buy another key for five cents. I think that was worth our time. And we're still looking for the second secret room, which should be around here because we haven't seen it yet. Let's keep this up. Candle's doing a lot of damage, but also just like regular um, shots are doing a ton of damage too. I am very pleased with the way that this run has gone so far. There's a spirit heart just randomly sitting in that rock, or in that poop up there. There's an eternal heart. Oh, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Get rid of it. <laughs> Red hearts are the enemy, but I didn't even think about white hearts. Again, it probably won't matter. It's just one of those things where if I was, like, absolutely optimizing my play, I don't think we would want it. But oh well. Uh, at this point, maybe it's worth it for us to get that health upgrade, because we're going to be dealing with health anyway, so why not just pick it up? And just give ourselves the maximum chance here, because you never know, things can go terribly wrong in some of these boss fights. So we're against blue version of Mom. Uh, if there was any run for us to fight what I consider to be the hardest version of Mom, this is it. It should be reasonably easy for us. As you can see, like, three very difficult enemies came at me at once, and I just killed them all right away. So Mom's body, or Mom's everything, is almost dead right now. Uh, do it. Uh, we're going to get two Spirit Hearts. An HP upgrade, the Polaroid, and get almost back to full health. Very nearly. So cool! I'd say down to the next floor. We still have no compass, but it doesn't really bother me because we should be able to clear out these rooms super quickly. You know what? Uh, the library doesn't interest me as much as losing a key worries me. Because losing a key at this point means a potential golden chest in the chest that we don't open. So we're just going to try to find our boss room right away here. Uh, there's still some things that I would love to get, like we still do not have the ability to fly. Maybe if we make our way back home, we'll learn how to do it? I don't know. Dave Grohl, why don't you tell me? Would it be crazy if I just had Dave Grohl in the studio right now? And by the studio, I mean my, like, room. So I'd be pretty embarrassed because I'm just sitting in my underwear right now. Maybe he's into that, I don't know. Dave Grohl seems like a little easygoing guy. See we've got down here. We've got a dead end. That's not what I wanted to see. We did take some damage there. So much for getting that Mama's Boy achievement. Well, that was that's already happened, so we don't need to worry about that. That rage would be awesome if I had Mom's purse. 
Samson's lock would be a sweet deal for us right now. There's a secret room for us. This is an easy room overall, because the candle, as you can see, provided you get a good shot in, uh, is enough to take out that boss in uh, one hit, basically. Secret room contains a slot machine. Not interested. And again, maybe it's not even in our best interest to find the boss as soon as possible, because the more rooms we go to, the more opportunities we have for um, the miter and everything to pay for themselves. So we got Monstro's Tooth. That's a garbage item. In our current situation, anyway. Uh, tons of red hearts in here. I don't know why I didn't. I might as well pick them up and get back to full health. Uh, we have a chest that I can't get to without wasting two keys, which seems like a lot right now. So instead, I think we will just fight our boss. Ignore everything I said about maximizing miter and relic popping. Hey, they're popping in the same room anyway, so that's fine by us. What do we have here? We have a pony! So this would give us the ability to fly, but it would cost us the candle. So I don't think it's worth it. Candle's been very good to us so far. It'd have to give us a, a hell of a lot to make me consider giving it up at this point. It's our main damage dealer, in all likelihood. So there's Pony, no deal with the devil, down to the next floor. Let us just keep going, basically. Find the secret room right away, you never know. The one thing I would trade my current situation for is Epic Fetus or Fetus in a Jar. We find neither of them in here. Those are just more fun to use than your average run, I would say. This guy just keeps walking over this stuff. That shouldn't be allowed. Um, Meat Boy, just eat this dude. Thank you. Uh, you could also, you know, like, eat this dude if you want to. Cool beans, man. And how about this guy? Wow! Alright, I didn't even know you could do that. I thought I still had to get that guy to pop up. Guess not, though. So we can kill all the shots from these gluttonies with the candle. I'm not sure if we can kill the beam that they shoot out. Either way, easy fight, potential health upgrade. Definite health upgrade. We've gotten incredibly lucky on this run in basically all respects. But with, with, with respect to health in particular, getting both the miter and the relic is like unprecedented. So we got a spirit heart just randomly on this room. We should get, on the next room or two, we should get a couple more from both the miter and the relic. I'm not sure if the, the relic, or I'm not sure if the miter drops randomly or if it drops like once every set number of rooms. But, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not, like, what I mean is I'm not sure if it just increases drops or if it drops, uh, with some regularity like the Relic does. So, how are we gonna kill this dude? Just let Meat Boy take care of it, man. Take your time. Uh, so we get another Spirit Heart. I'm gonna leave that pill, because I want to hold on to this Empress card. Uh, I could take the pill, but I don't want it to accidentally hurt me, basically. We're in a position where I don't have to take those kind of risks. Thank you, Meat Boy. Take forever with the goddamn food. Alright, so we've got Blastasis. I see no problems here. It's kind of hard to tell what the hell's going on because there's like so much shit on the screen. Sorry, did I said shit? That was a typo. I meant have so many shots on the screen at one time. It's like an LMFAO video. Sorry, did I say shots? I meant assholes. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm typing terribly today. Little known fact, I make all these Isaac videos with a text-to-speech generator, like in Moonbase Alpha. John Madden, John Madden. Everything's dead here, more spirit hearts for us. Happy day! Uh, we have basically no more prospects for treasure. Which is sad, but we already have all the tools, for sure, that we need to complete this game. Even if I continue taking really stupid damage like that. So there's our arcade. Could gamble a little bit at the blood bank. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. We've seen this pill, right? No? Bombs are key. I like that. That was a good get for us, actually. Might not seem like it, because we're about to fight Mom's heart, and I need bombs. But this alleviates our key problems, which were going to become very important as we got to the chest in, uh, you know, mere minutes, probably. Depending on how long it takes me to find this goddamn final boss. There we go. And there's our secret room as well. Second secret room, I guess I should say. This guy's gonna die. He tried to reverse directions there. That was a little sneaky. I've never seen that happen before with the guts. More health that I don't need. Let us fight Mom's heart. Again, this should be super easy with our, our candle. So we don't even really need to use bombs. Keep in mind, we do have homing bombs, but it's just totally unnecessary. In all likelihood. And I could use um, the Empress card as well, but I'm saving that. Might use it on Isaac, but preferably I'd like to save it for Blue Baby, because it's going to give us so, such a damage boost that there's no real need to use it right now. This is 
zombies. The zombies are all dead. Meat Boy, feel free, buddy, to, to eat to your heart's content, basically. Got hit there. That was kind of inevitable, to be honest with you. Stop stepping on the creep. We're still fine, though. Managed to avoid it there. Mom's heart is dead. We are... There's a deal with the angel room? I thought maybe there would be something in there as well as a trip down to Shoal, but... Nope, just a trip down to Shoal. In any case, let us continue onwards here. Everything coming up Millhouse right now, for sure. Let's get these things to blow up. You know, taking one or two hits on this room doesn't really bother me. That's not going to be a deal breaker. It will if it happens on every room, but two of hearts. That could come in handy, actually, but we're going to stick with the Empress for now. Because it's the more likely choice to, to be super useful for us. Don't jump. Use your laser. There we go. I can't get behind him really right now. This is actually going to be one of the more difficult monstrous fights, or Monstro 2 fights that we've had. Not quite as difficult as the time that we had two of them and they were both like out of sync with each other. That was a super pain in the ass. Just die already. You're an old man, Monstro 2. You're a dinosaur. Nobody respects you anymore. Your AI is too transparent. We've reached a dead end. Good thing about reaching a dead end is that, you know, we've at least eliminated one path that we'll, we won't have to take in the future. Let's see what we got in here. Some more keys. Could come in handy. Who knows? Maybe we'll come across 50 golden chests or something. The widow should not stand a chance of even getting close enough to even smell me on its way to dying. So we have two of hearts again. Again, useful cards. Potentially, but Empress is more important for us right now. Again, Widow should have no chance, even if it is the, the gray version as opposed to the pink version. Makes no difference. Free spirit hearts. Daddy Long Legs might stand a chance of hitting us. We should still be able to not take very much damage during our conquest here. And it's dead. That went surprisingly well, actually. Continue just going as far left as or as far right as we can go. Took some damage against Greed. That shit's gonna happen from time to time. Wish it didn't, but it will. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Seriously, Greed. I'm taking too much damage on this room. Did he spawn those damn... He did. Okay. Now, up. We'll see if the boss room is over here. Kind of an asshole room, but... By and large, with the, the candle... As well as the damage that I'm doing, these guys shouldn't be too bad. Meat Boy helped out a little bit too. Don't want to totally negate his contributions to our our success so far. Obviously, fourth level Meat Boy would have been nicer, but you can't always get what you want. Third level Meat Boy is is plenty for me not to complain about. And a Blood Bank, super tempting, because again, I could put myself in that like Polaroid invincibility state. But that's really more valuable if you have something like Poison Touch, so you can use that state to like run into enemies and take them out. I don't even have any familiars, so there's no point for me right now. Or I have familiars, but I don't have anything spinning around me, I should say. So again, we're just going to fire like crazy here. we got to get a little closer than I'm used to, which means we're going to take a little bit more damage than I'm used to, probably. Uh, because otherwise, my reflection causes my shots to travel back backwards too quickly. Uh, and I don't actually get a chance to hit them. The candle will still hit. And Harlequin Baby, I guess, will still hit, too. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here. But basically, we're bullet hell against bullet hell here. Neither of us... Uh, is gonna have much opportunity to dodge with the other person's throwing out. We should still win, like I can't even see my health still. And re recall, this might seem difficult and like a harbinger for bad things to come on the uh, blue baby boss fight. We're gonna get more spirit hearts before the blue baby boss fight and beyond that, um, I'm gonna pop the Empress card on that as well. Plus we have whatever we get from the chest, so we still got a very good chance of killing blue baby. Depending on how the rest of this fight goes, of course. It's not over yet. Anything could happen. But I still can't see my spirit hearts and I consider that to be a very good sign. Continue to throw in these candles again. Candle so important as both a defensive and an offensive item in this situation. Keeping it up. Still can't see my spirit hearts. So that's great. And we took a lot of damage on that fight, but it's now over. And we'll go to the cathedral, where hopefully things will turn out as well as we want them to. Mom's knife! Okay, well... <laughs> I know some people have a... Oh my god, Polyphemus is mom's knife. We're taking it. I know some people have a problem with this setup, but... Uh, it's so much fun. I apologize in advance because I know some people are going to be pissed off. It was another mom's knife run. You know, enjoy it. It's only going to be for like the last 30 seconds of this run because I'm going to kill 
blue baby in like mere seconds. As you can see, like Super Sloth going down with one mom's knife hit. Keep it up. Keep in mind, we're also gonna have the Empress going for us. Polyphemus mom's knife on the last, like the chest, chess is unbelievable. Somebody up there likes me. Wants me to have fun with this run. It's been a very good run. We get Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom Boom Boom, I don't want you in my spacebar room. Again, are you seeing this? Madness! I don't even want the uh, the bomb upgrades. It's not necessary. The tarot card, not necessary. We're just gonna stand right next to the boss and it is not gonna be able to do jack shit. Yeah, hit me, I don't care. Hopefully, oh, now I can see my spirit routes. I'm getting a little wary now. A little bit more concerned than I would otherwise be, but look at that, my god. I love runs where you do crazy damage. It just feels good, man. Who isn't happy with a run like this? Still gotta do some dodging here to make sure that, um, you know, I don't just run into enemies willy-nilly. So I probably still don't have enough health that I can just, like, you know, get wasted or something and still win. But, uh, I'm doing fine. That's for damn sure. Amazing that that room took the longest out of all the ones so far to take out. Come on, Lust. Why are you messing around with me like this? Got Wrath again. We have Homing Bomb, so Wrath, even when it shoots, just ends up hitting itself. AIDS poop. Not my favorite, but we're fine. Busy floor! We're gonna end up scouting, like, all of the chests, I think. Uh, oh, well, that was stupid of me. I knew it was in here, I just forgot about it. There's our boss, finally. And I haven't even been using the candle lately. There's just no need. Uh, so we have a uh, pill, but really, let's just go fight Blue Baby and enjoy this, because it's going to be over real damn quick. Can't even see the health bar. There we go. Uh, and it's dead! That was super quick. Alright, that was a lot of fun. We got Mom's Knife. It was happy for everybody. I got Mom's Knife and Polyphemus, but it didn't come till the end, so there's a little bit more variety in the gameplay. But in any case, as I post Isaac Stretch, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. That was one of the most fun runs I think I've ever had, actually. See you next time.